So the first one I'm going to teach you now is the one I show you first, which is the chip road. How does a chip road work, and why are they rolling? Into the other side. Okay, <clears throat> to do it, I'll give you a um, sample. I'll just give you four four chips. The idea is you hold a stack of chips, something like that. Now you hold it for a finger roll, um, the finger, no, not a finger roll, the, the, the thumb, the thumb flip. <laughs> now you hold it for a thumb flip in the normal trick. That's what you need to start with. Then you go your, your hand to the bottom as possible, pick up the whole lot, move it up, but at the same time try to make your your fingers in the a ramp position, so they're like a slide. In time, you find which is your best angle. Um, you can even just drop the hand onto the table. You don't have to leave the table. You don't have to do it like that. Even touch the table is okay. Now, what the next step is, where the harder part is, you try to drop one chips at a time on that ramp. This is like that kind of action. You might find it's harder to do the last one because it's only on got one chips. But if you've practiced, you should be able to do it. See? It's just holding it, put it up, holding it, put it up to the top, make a round shape, drop it, and then just rolls. But if you don't get it right, <coughs> you have to keep practicing and adjust adjust this, um, the ramp or adjust the drop, dropping of the chips or the, um, the shape of the chips. What I mean, the shape of the chip is the shape of the whole stack. You will never do it if your, your stack is like that, you know what I'm saying? Or your stack's like that. <laughs> it doesn't roll. It may roll, but it roll in different directions. Your stack is quite parallel, so they, they're in a shape, as, like in the center. If you're a little bit off center, it's not too bad, but if you're too much off center, then you find it, it will drop, fall before it rolls. So. So, um, to do it faster or to do it more distant, you might do pick up step. Well, that would be the next level of this. What will happen is, as you draw, yeah, as you drop, you will move your hand at the same time, so it gives you more extra speed. Like, if you can't do it, then you can have extra speed or extra distance by by giving your hand a bit of push. Give the chips as well. that will come in that in in time when you can do the, the normal one. But don't go that far, try to push the chips. Just drop them, don't push them to start with. Once you can do that perfectly, then you try to give it a push, which will give you more speed and more distance. Okay, now that's sorted. Now we can give you the next, um, teaching you the next one, which is um, the screw back, okay? Some, some people can pick it up very quick and some people can never do it. For who the, for the beginners, I would, I would uh, try to give them a better practice, a, less, a better way of getting to that action as quick as possible. The action is actually holding the chips at the very edge, half, half the chips this, on, on the middle of it probably, but you hit it to the layout whatever once you hit it but don't don't let go like that you know you hit it keep holding it and as you hit it you keep pushing it down while you're doing a spin see the, the fingers don't let go until you get there then you let go see i'll show you it goes down well i don't i don't just let go when i hit the table i hit the table i carry on moving my fingers down when you're moving your fingers down it's quite a, rela a relaxed uh, movement. It's not you not keep holding it tight and try to go down. You won't go down because you hold it too tight. Once you hit the table, you relax your finger a bit, so therefore the chips can spin and your, your finger can go down. That's the action. Hit it and carry on with the finger and thumb, but not tightly. Yeah? So give it a, a bit of relax so you do get a spin action. Or to speed it up, the the way to do it. Well, I would use a stack of something, or chips or something, I'll, I'll put it on a block, uh, maybe a plastic 
pull up, something that's flat. So you've got a bit of height. So you can have that action hitting the chips and you still follow it down. Because it's lateral, you hit it and you follow it down. Because it's got that gap at the bottom for you to follow down. Then if you, you can get that right, your chips can come back. Then you've got it, you've got action. But from there on, you can do, do the spin. But to practice, to start with, that would be the best way to practice. And this is what I call a um, stay off the cliff. This is the actual, the easiest one to do a screw back or spin back or back spin. Okay. Yeah, once you master that, speed, screw back or back spin, then back spin, screw back, then you might consider doing another fancy trick with that. <coughs> well, which one I've invented one called. Um, got a stun shot. Basically, it's not a screw back as such, but this one, you have to land the chips where you want it to land. For example, I want my land my chips on that, into that circle, but you don't, might not get it right all the time, might get too far, but if you can, just get it into there. See, you still get that action of, action of um, stopping. You still that, still got that little bit of action of screw back, but not so far back as a screw back. It sound, it looks like a stun shot in snooker games. See, it stuns it and stops there. And maybe people think you've done the screw back wrong. Actually, it's not a screw back; it's a stun shot. So that's how I can tell you. For a stun shot, <coughs> the the idea of the the spin is once you hit the floor, hit the stick, you you carry on to the bottom like you do the screw back but at the same time you just try to push it and it, it will have that stun effect see you got that stun effect by pushing it hit it and push it at the same time so you get that stun effect when it, it lands see then there are also other ones which I invented what you want to call the follow through you hold one chip and you just you just push it well it doesn't matter how you push it how you do it you just want it one chip and push it and stop like uh, all the way to the end and I've got it the follow through but I I can show you the way I do it I do it like this but there's no reason why you can do it any other way just one chips push it to the end of the table whatever that's called follow through <coughs> besides that I have also come up with one called swerve where you will use one chips goes goes round for example it's like that that's a swerve. But you also can do one which is called a screw back swerve. What you do is here for the screw back swerve. See? It's supposed to go that shape. <laughs> so anyway, see? Screw back swerve.